Hello, this is Matt Baker, Superintendent at Walton Verona Independent Schools. I would like to take this opportunity to inform you about a few important decisions which have recently been made that concern this school year. First of all, our Board of Education approved a new calendar for the 2020-2021 school year last night. At this point, our first day for students will be August the 24th, and we will still have a week-long fall break that occurs the week of October 12th, as well as a week-long spring break in the second semester. Our reason for modifying our calendar is that it offers us the opportunity to have some flexibility in regard to the number of instructional days we have in this school year. During the current circumstances, one of the things we need most is flexibility and this option affords us that. According to state law, if a school district starts the school year before August 24th, that school district must accrue 1,062 hours of instructional time as well as at least 170 instructional days. However, if a school district starts their school year on August 24th or after, then that school district still has to accrue the 1,062 hours of instructional time, but does not have to meet the 170 day instructional requirement. So this option affords us a little bit of flexibility as we navigate these uncertain times. The second decision that has been made, it regards how we're going to go about re-entering school this year. We have decided to utilize the hybrid model that was described in materials shared with the community last week and that we surveyed the community about. On these surveys, 1,527 parents responded and of those responses, roughly a third came from each of our three schools. The results, uh, however, indicated a preference for the hybrid model and the, virtu and the virtual model. 43.4% of our parents indicated they preferred the hybrid model and 21.8% of our parents indicated that they preferred the virtual model. And lastly, 34.8% of our parents indicated that they preferred the traditional five-day model. I would like to state that our approach in pursuing this hybrid model is very simple. And that is, it enables us to balance the needs of our students along with safety for our students and our staff. Under this model, all students at the elementary will attend school Monday through Thursday for a full day. We have some extra space at the elementary. Uh, we have mobile units there as well as our gymnasium and cafeteria if needed that we can use for instructional space at certain times in the day. And that will allow us to spread those elementary students out so that they can maintain adequate social distancing. As long as we are able to maintain that social distancing, then those students are allowed to remove their masks so long as they are seated. However, if they are up and moving, if they are going to the restroom, if they are walking through the hallways on their way to lunch or to the media center, they will have to wear masks. But by spreading those students out, we're going to afford those students the opportunity to remove their masks for a few minutes during the day while they are seated. Another issue at the elementary is that our elementary students by and large do not change classes. So they're not up passing each other in the hallway, potentially spreading the virus. To the greatest degree possible, our students will remain in their classes and our teachers in large part will do the changing of classes and not our students. This will limit movement in the building and enable us to further mitigate the spread of the virus if it appears in our elementary school. At our high school and our middle school, we have some different challenges. We do not have enough space at those two schools to practice effective social distancing, thus affording the students the opportunity to remove their masks. So we need to reduce the number of students in the building on a given day. So we will be dividing the student bodies at both schools into two groups, an A group and a B group. Now let me say that we will do our very best to make sure that we don't split households. So those of you who have blended families can rest assured we will make every effort to ensure that your children attend on the same day or, and are in the same group. Group A will attend school in person on Monday and Tuesday. Group B will attend school on Wednesday and Thursday. When students are not physically present in school, 
they will be completing learning activities online on their newly issued Chromebooks. Both, or both campuses, our Verona campus and our Walton campus, will have an NTI day every Friday. This time is important for a couple reasons. First, it allows us to thoroughly sanitize our buildings. We will certainly be sanitizing our buildings at the end of every school day and we'll be addressing high contact areas during the school day, but it's important that we have some additional time to be extremely thorough in the cleaning of our facilities. Another factor in, in making every Friday an NTI day is that it builds time in so that our teachers can make personal contact with those students who choose to participate virtually. We want to ensure that those students get, an, get a great education and we need to build time for our teachers to touch base with those students and if needed to make appointments where those students can physically come into the building on an individual basis for some assistance if they need it. So school this year is going to look different than it ever has. I'm sure that, that you have many questions and we will do our best to answer those questions in the coming weeks, but please understand we were not able, we are not able to answer those questions until we have this basic approach decided. Now that we know we're utilizing this hybrid model for attendance and that we are offering parents the virtual option if they don't feel safe sending their child to school, we can begin working out the many details that will be involved in having school this year. Please understand that I'm very aware that many of you are apprehensive about returning to school. We have students, parents, and staff members who are very concerned about this virus. And I would like for you to know that I share your concern. I am I'm very well aware that there's a lot of fear and anxiety in our community. And please know that I'm confident that we can offer our staff and our students a safe learning environment this year. One of the reasons I say that is the infection rates in Northern Kentucky are extremely low. In Kenton and in Boone counties, the infection rate is 0 .005 percentage of the, the population in those two counties. So the infection rates are extremely low. If the infection rates were very high as they are in other parts of the country, if our emergency rooms and our intensive care units were overrun with COVID patients, we would be taking a very different approach to open school this year. But as long as our infection rates remain low, I'm confident that as long as we practice effective social distancing and as long as we wear our masks to mitigate the spread of this virus, we can be safe at school this year. Understand, if infection rates increase in our community or if our governor makes a decision that school should remain closed or open the school year on NTI, then at that point we will have to revisit these decisions. I am hopeful that neither of those things will occur. But please understand, we have to remain flexible during these times and we will be making plans to open the year on NTI if that is needed. Again, I'm confident that will not be needed, but we will be ready just in case. In the coming weeks, I will be sharing more information with you about our approach to learning this year. Specifically, next Friday, I will share detailed information with you about that virtual learning option that we will present to parents and students who do not feel safe entering our schools. We want to provide the best experience possible for our students and our parents, and we will go as far as we can to offer that opportunity. Thank you. Have a good weekend.